Welcome to our channel ladies and gentlemen kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell this is the kindest request and the biggest support that you can render to our channel once you subscribe please click the notification bell so that YouTube will recommend to you our videos you can also like our videos and share them to reach many other people and to those who always support us we are where we are because of your unwavering support. I want to say thank you very much. May God continue to bless you. Now, the chairman of the political party's dispute tribunal, Mr. Danson Nungo, has issued conservatory orders barring the ODM party from expelling the rebel members that had been ousted from the party. Now, uh, the rebels... Uh, the rebel members of parliament, Felix Udwur of, uh, of Langata constituency, Elisha of uh, Game constituency, Gideon Chanda of Bondo, we have uh, Senator Ojenda of, of Kisumu, went to the political party's uh, dispute tribunal to seek orders to stop the ODM from ostering them. And they were seeking for four prayers, about three prayers that have all been given. Number one was to stop the ODM party from expelling them from that very party. That they say they are like members and they have been there and they have supported the party in terms of monetary and, and, and in all the other ways that the party was. Number two, they were seeking orders barring the registrar of political parties led by Madam Anderito from expanding their names from, uh, from the party register. And they were also praying and uh, praying for the tribunal to bar the ODM party from expelling them from their respective parliamentary committee roles. And all these prayers have been given. And the application or the, determin the, 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 the orders will stay until a determination of their prayers are uh, made, and this will happen by 20th. Now, someone was telling me that if the government wants to play mischief, they can use the dispute, the political party's dispute tribunal, to, to, to play around with this process and extend it and postpone it for a period even of five years until these rebels will do their term to the fullest until 2027 but something that we need to state very categorically is just one ladies and gentlemen for us to clean our parties and grow in terms of our political uh, democracy we need to have party discipline to prevent, to prevent party hoping. Because we have seen a system, an, in, an intention from the government to ensure that we are taken back to the Moi era, to the Nyayo era, when we had just one, the, the, the Kanu, Kama Chama Chababa na Mama. And the intention is so clear, even within the Kenya Kwanzaa government, the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, some of them are crying foul because the Secretary General of the UDA, Malala, has been charged to try and convince the other, in fact, not, not even conf convincing, forcing the other uh, members of the affiliate parties to fold their parties and join one party called the UDA. Moses Wetangula is busy fighting this intention to fold for the Kenya. Amani National Congress has refused to fold. Even Amazon Kingi has decided to, you know, get grip of his, his party. Even the Foreign Affairs Minister, governor, uh, the former Governor Alfred Butua, has refused to let go of his party. And so there is a choreographed intention to ensure that all the other parties fold so that they form UDA and then the opposition is weakened and wrecked 
so that William Ruto can have just one party where he is the Alpha and Omega, he controls everything. And this is why where we are. We are where we are because of this. But is William Ruto genuine? There are people or leaders who tried wrestling power from William Ruto. And he thwarted them. Look at Alfred Keter. He's no more. He's one person who tried to wrestle power. He wanted to, to, to champion his own cause from the Rift Valley when William Ruto wanted to become the ultimate kingpin. He's no more. Gideon Moy was frustrated until he coiled his tail. They are now working together and is very quiet. The Kanu has been annihilated. Sosion, the former NAT Secretary General, decided to join the camp because if you can't beat them, you join them. So you will realize that each and every person would want sanity in the party, would want to remain a kingpin. And so this idea of trying to use members of parliaments to rock their party from within is something that must be fought. Because if we are not careful, we'll go back to the current state. And you know what happened? When you have one party, power will get into your mind and you will not want anybody to question you. And that is what led to detention without trial and, you know, merciless killings everywhere. Because once you are a kingpin, once you are heading a political party, you might not even want anybody to question you. And then, when you are heading and you are the leader of one party, you take away the powers of other leaders so that they cannot negotiate because we have realized that uh, we, we, we play tribal politics so that maybe Mdavadi can only sit on a table of, neg of negotiation maybe prior to an election and he says, this is my party, I have these members of parliament, these are the people who I think follow me so that you can form a formidable force. In the absence of that, for example, if Mudavadi, you know, decides to fold his party, then what is he left with? You, you must remember that William Ruto decided to sponsor a candidate against Moses Wetangula's uh, senatorial seat when Moses had helped him ascend to power. And Moses was, was really shocked because he thought that after helping William Ruto ascend to power, then what was going to happen? William Ruto would help him campaign against an Azimio candidate, but that was not the case. So it tells you that William Ruto has got this intention to ensure that he becomes not only a kingpin in Red Valley, but he wants to, you know, extend this power to become a kingpin in Mount Kenya, kingpin in Nyanza, kingpin in Western. That is what he wants. And it's not very, you know, possible because each of those regions have their own sons and daughters who are able to lead them. The only thing that uh, uh, should happen is that once you have established yourself, go and you know, extend an olive branch so that you can work together, but not trying to kill the parties that exist. The rebels cannot pretend to go to court, to go to the tribunal, so that they can extend their stay in the party. You see, this is like a spouse who criticizes you and go to the neighbor to stay with him. And then when you now tell him or her that now do this, you go and stay with the neighbor. And then he runs to the chief and tells the chief that you know Baba Nani and Fukuza Kwanyuma. Yet she's the one who went ahead, you know, and they wanted to stay with the, with the neighbor. If people like Jalango and Elisha believe that ODM is rotten and they don't agree with the policies and the leadership of that party, the best thing to do is to go and join UDA or they can establish their own formation because the constitution is very clear they also have a right one thing that i don't agree with is people criticizing them from you know trying to question the odm there must be questions when you feel something is not happening the right way you are allowed but then rocking that part from within is something that i disagree with if they really feel that Raila Mulunga baby is a dictator and they really feel that they want to work with William Ruto, the door is open, they can cross over officially, no one is forcing them to stay in the, within the ODM. Now they are running to the tribunal, the political parties tribunal, you know, dispute tribunal, and they want to stay by force. Do you know what they fear? They know that they don't have their way with to go and face the people and tell them, 
we have been changed from the party you elected us we are now coming to you again please give us a fresh mandate they cannot do that the only person who has done that i stand to be corrected is raila mulodinga when he decided to walked away from that was for the kenya when there were there were wrangles between him and a very fierce altercation in thika when bullets were fired and tear gas and he walked away from the, the 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 ford kenya party and began was that ndp or something and he he sought for fresh mandate and he was reelected because he believed himself he believed in the people the people loved him that is what should happen when you feel that you don't agree with the, the, your party just go to the people and so i know this might drag on and on and it is going to open a very fierce battlefront legal uh, battle between the odm and the rebels i don't know who will carry the day but if they are lucky to go up to 2027 one thing that you can be rest assured that they cannot be reelected in 2027 i don't know what will happen but we need to clean our parties so that we don't have party hoppers and that is my take